Hello, how is it going? I hope you're doing fine. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to make another basketball poster with GIMP. I just inspired from NBA Airmail which made by Jason Drumheller on Behance. See his work for more cool poster, check in the link description. Ok, let's begin. Make some file, go to file, new and I set to this size. This size is fit for Instagram story and Facebook story. You can see the final result in my Instagram highlights. Just hit OK. You then create new layer, click here and name it yellow background. You want to make it yellow color and change this black color to this color. You can see this color code. Just hit OK. Then fill it with bucket tool. Go to this. Then just this. Then click on the canvas. Add some text, go to this text tool and let's type change the color to white, change the font into this font. Right, let's make it by 530. Right, then rotate it, press shift R on your keyboard and press Ctrl Shift while rotating to make it. 15 degree increment then like this hit enter and place it on the middle add some text let's type make it by white and change the font into okay then make the size into 150 then press shift R on your keyboard, press ctrl and shift to rotate it by 15 degree. So make it straight like this, hit enter, make it in the middle. Make a straight blue line to here, let's create new layer and name it blue line. Place it below the text and with your rectangle tool, click this. Make a straight blue line. In the middle, change this yellow color to this blue color. You can input this color code, just hit OK. Then go to edit, just fill with foreground color. Alright, open up the query images, go to file, open, adjust this. It's already in selected. If you don't know how to do that, you can see in my game tutorial video how to select the image with the pet tool. So I just bring this to this canvas, make the layer to the top, and let me rename it. Scale it down, the shortcut is Shift S. Around this. Okay. Adjust the image with curves, go to color and choose curves. Then let's make a drop shadow by clicking this layer, go to filter, like and shadow, choose this drop shadow. Then adjust this X and Y, turn off this link, make it by this direction. Then hit OK. Add some stacked diagonal lines to here and here. Go to file, open this layer and just this PNG and hit open. Let's move it to here. Let's duplicate another one, click this icon and move it to here. Flip it with flip tool, go to this tool or the shortcut is shift F. Then make it flip with horizontal 
and let's change it into white color because it's in currently in black color so you just to infer it by going to color just infer submit this go to color just infer add some numbers to here type again make it by this and change it to white color I just found a new method how to make the text as stroke only in game you can see in my previous video here just click the screen card how to make the stroke in another way okay go to this number layer right click I'll part to selection and go to select just string make it by 3 and don't forget to active this option and hit OK just press delete on your keyboard so it make a selection from the inserting selection tap the name here make your text tool again let's type let's make it italic a little have some kern by 3 place it on here let's bring up the barcode images go to file open this layer and just this and scale it down by hitting shift s then hold control to proportional scale move it to here the barcode is too long so let's cut it with rectangle tool go to rectangle tool click this and just select this around here and press delete on your keyboard let's change this barcode to the blue color like this so the perfect way to do that just go to your rectangle tool this block this barcode and create new layer and name it blue color and make sure this is the blue color that you wanted go to edit just fill with foreground color just play with the layer mode alright I think I found it just like that only make sure the barcode layer below the blue color and right click just merge down so now the barcode in blue color same step if you found some vector object in totally black color or white color use this method alright deselect it by going to select and choose none with rectangle again create new layer and name it line and I just draw some line here then go to edit fill with foreground color very nice last but not least let's add some texture and grain which is make a big different things in our image okay first let's bring some texture go to file open this layer and just this texture and rotate it by hitting shift R control and scale it up by hitting shift S Hold control then place it below the below the player change the layer mode into multiply it's too dark let's adjust some curves go to color and choose curves then adjust it let me move this all layer below the texture all right make some grain create new layer and name it grain just hit ok and fill it with the white color okay just swap it and fill it with this bucket tool then go to filter noise and choose this noise and you can adjust this setting and hit ok after that change layer mode into divide you can reduce the opacity to reduce the grain but you notice that some of these red dots blue dots and these pinky dots 
it becomes the green still in RGB. So let's make it black and white by going to color, desaturate, and desaturate again. Just hit OK. So it's more proper green. Let it just the opposite again. Alright. And the last, I want to add some stem element here. Go to file, open this layer, and just this stem and scale it down by hitting shift s on this set it a little by hitting shift r on here and change it to this blue color so same method with this barcode i'm gonna create new layer and name it blue color rectangle tool select and go to edit fill with background color because our background color in this blue color then change the layer mode into this like turn only then right click choose merge down right move a little to here move this below the green layer Sorry, I forgot to bring the layer up. Okay, place it below the curry. Okay, now you see it's applied to the text and all this element. All set. Don't forget to enhance your images by going to the top of the layer, right click and choose new layer from visible. So it's create a new layer from this all visible layer. Then go to color and display with the setting. Or you can see my previous video about basic game photo manipulation. Same technique, display with the setting in here. I hope you enjoy and learn something new from this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe, make sure you an update about this game tutorial. Stay healthy people, I'm Zeke from Zeke Design. Create something good today. Thanks for watching.